Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com. News on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. Hey everyone, this is Sam Mowers here and welcome to episode 479 of the Crypto Corner podcast. For news today, Bitcoin has surpassed $18,000, Ethereum is back over $500, DAIM has launched the first 401k with Bitcoin, and MUFG is launching a blockchain payments network. Also, DigiNex has held a strategy day for investors and analysts. But just before we jump into that news, a quick reminder that if you enjoy this podcast, please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And while you're at it, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com. This includes the Clean Tech and Climate Change podcast, as well as the Cannabis podcast. Both of those will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. So after initially breaking past it briefly on Tuesday, Bitcoin is now trading firmly above $18,000 US, according to data from CoinMarketCap. At the time of recording, it is valued at about $18,770, which is very close to its all-time trading high of roughly $19,770, just a thousand bucks off, and that was back in December of 2017. Ethereum is also performing well, having reached a trading price of $500 just this morning, and that's the first time it's been trading in that neighborhood since June 2018, nearly two and a half years ago. Perhaps reflective of Bitcoin's recently gained stature, Digital Asset Investment Management, or DAIM, which is described as the first licensed registered investment advisor for Bitcoin and digital assets, announced that it has launched the first Ariza compliant employer-sponsored 401k plans with Bitcoin, ARISA being the Employee Retirement Income Security Act, for those who might not be aware. Adam Pekornicki, the COO of DAIM, said, quote, From the moment we were approved by the state of California in June 2018, we've seen incredible inbound demand from individuals eager to invest Bitcoin in 401ks. Conventional 401k plans are restrictive and often lack investment options, causing participants to not only be frustrated, but have poor risk-adjusted returns that barely keep up with the rate of inflation. This is a bad deal for savers given the current environment. We believe Bitcoin has demonstrated it has a place in the modern portfolio, and individuals should have an opportunity to get off zero and invest directly through their retirement account. End quote. Elsewhere, Japanese banking giant Mitsubishi UFJ Financial Group, Inc., which trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol MUFG, is aiming to launch a high-speed blockchain payment network with the U.S.-based tech firm Akamai, which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol AKAM in 2021. This is according to a report from a Coindesk. Through the two firms' joint venture, Global Open Network, or GoNet, they will integrate payment terminals from electronic device manufacturer Psycho Holdings with the bank's credit card company MUFG Nikos in February. MUFG is also in the process of developing its own digital currency MUFG coin, though it is not clear if that will be related to this blockchain payment network with Akamai. Digital assets financial services company Diginex Limited, which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol EQOS, recently held its inaugural Strategy Day for investors and analysts. During a presentation concerning the evolution of digital assets, Shane Edwards, the head of investment products at Diginex, said, quote, This is a new world and, understandably, there has been skepticism, but the technological advancements are far too profound to ignore. Bitcoin has stood the test of time, and we will see increasing mainstream adoption from institutions. We are at the cusp of a landmark opportunity in finance where the markets will be revolutionized in the years ahead. End quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss in investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, 
iHeartRadio.com and Google Play Music.